Welcome back, everyone, to another crash day of Let's Play Gothic. Now, last time, we actually managed to kill two of the shamans that reside in this inner temple. And today, we're trying to get to the next two, because there are only three left, and the fifth one is a pain in the butt. So, to start this off again, we're gonna pull this switch over here, and hope it works. Well, it does for now. There's the demon again. As far as I recall, it does not matter in which order you pull these switches, so... You should be fine into whichever order you would like to pull them. Now, switch number two. This should net us demon number two. Wait for it. No. There we go. And we shall pull this switch over here. And this will reveal the third shaman. As you notice, there is a shrine, or rather a hole, at the beginning of the door. So you can only go out with the stave of him. You be damned, you stinky moldy carpet! Is that actually a curse? Like, moldy carpet? Is that actually something you say to someone? Because I'm not so sure about it, actually. Anyway, he's dead. We're fine. And we can get out of here. Now, after you've killed all three shamans, it is important that you notice one thing. There is a different way out of here now than before. You can go back to the way you came, and then you can continue going this way here. You've now finished everything in this part, and the door that was once closed at the end of this tunnel here, about here, you can see still the remains of it, is now open. And there's a Templar Minecrawler here, which we obviously killed very nicely. So, let's follow that tunnel, and get to the end of it. Because that's what we like to do, get to the end of things. Of course, you can also go down the other route, which would mean that you need to go up to the other side, up these stairwells that you that we climbed the last time, and then drop down here, which is also a possible route over here. Now, we want to go into this room, only to demonstrate one particular thing. As you but see, by the way, there's a lot of blood in here. And oh look, it's something to shoot again. Surely nothing bad can happen with this. Da! Ah! It's a trap! Nothing else. We are dead, unfortunately. Rest in peace, my friend. And there goes the wall that we actually wanted to open. However, there's a different way, as you might have noticed. If you stand here, you can see this thing over there. Draw your bow, aim for it, and shoot. Now you should stand outside, and this happens. They retract, the doors open, and the wall shall reveal Nothing right now, but something to come very soon. And I think I'm going to show this with a torch in hand, otherwise you won't be able to see anything whatsoever. There we go. Now this looks like a particular normal wall, however... Uh, you notice the differences in the colors? Yes! Something will appear here. A second wall moves down, and ta-da! Another point where you can shoot, meaning we can 
Get the torch off. Aim. Shoot. Shoot. Hello? Why does this not work? This should work, normally. No, it didn't. Hmm. That is very strange. Perhaps I need to shoot this one first. Then get over here, aim. No. Seems I'm not standing at the right position. Hello? There we go. For some reason I need to stand closer. I have no idea why, but it works. And the cutscene shows us another room opened. What could this be, I might ask you? Well, we're about to find out. These cutscenes by rooms openings that remind me so much about Tomb Raider or Tomb Raider 4 specifically, The Last Revelation, where they showed you directly what kind of room you could go into. That was so much fun. And you always saw where it's going. Now, before we continue here, however, I want to make sure that we don't die horribly. And yes, I noticed some mine crawlers over there. We will deal with them later. Now, there are three buttons. And, well, a red one, a kind of greenish, greenish flame one, and a yellow one, which looks a little bit like a snowflake. However, I believe I should shoot these two things up there first. One. Not that one. The other one. Or maybe not. Very well. Is there any indication of how we should pull these things? I don't think I actually saw something. Out here? No. Out here? Perhaps here? On this? Stone slab? No. Alright. We're gonna do the, the old fashioned way. Pull everything we can and then see what happens. Switch number one. Engage. Oh, I hear demons. And I see demons as well. Good thing is, it's only a lesser demon. So easy to slay. And it attacks right away too, which is quite nice. Don't need to wait for him to actually spawn in this world, which is quite fine. You shouldn't move while you actually try to attack me. That's a bad thing. Oh, okay. Well, did something happen? No. Alright, let's think for a minute. There could actually, this could be the first real one. So let's go for cross position first. So if we pull red and then yellow... No demon appears. Good. Now if we pull green now as well... Ah! Yep, it was. So we pull red, then yellow, then green. And this opens a door. And a Templar getting eaten by mine crawlers. Ah, beautiful. The irony. Now, moral choices aside, should we help him, or should we not? Bottom line, I don't know yet, depending on what he says. Hello? Okay, well, we're gonna fight the minecrawlers first then, I assume. Put the weapon down. Uh, yeah, no. I'm gonna move back a little bit. much better. And before we talk to him, make sure you save. Because you never know what the guy who has been Dead following lost. in you here... Are wanted here. Whoa, okay. And you Indeed! Yes, I will stop you. 
you won't prevent Master oh. Calum from awakening the sleeper. Oh, Don't nice. You attack me. The High Priest has transferred part of his powers to Master Callum and us. Now we are immortal. We'll see about I'll show that. You how immortal you are. I don't think you have hardened shields, do you? I think not. Mm, you don't seem so immortal to us. Let's see how you think about the blade in your body. And uh, not really now. You are officially dead now. Uh, Custodian's Blade. Let's see where that is. Oh my god, that's actually way down. 71 to... 92? I think not. Right. Freshen up a little bit. And continue. Now we're not too far off the end actually, but we still have a lot to do before we can reach that point. He's dead. I heard some other one draw his swords. Yeah. You want to try and attack him before he attacks you. So you can take care of him first. Ow. Makes it a lot easier to take care of these dudes. Because they're not strong, but they deal quite a good amount of damage at this point. Which might be a bad thing if you're low on health. So try to attack them first if you can. And there is another orc over here. Uh oh, this is not good. Oh, I'm still alive actually, I'm not dead yet. This is... this is certainly weird. Yeah, I've got one HP of 396. He doesn't care, it seems. But I'm still alive because I'm holding my wounds. So I should be standing up pretty soon. There we go. I'm gonna grab my sword and get the hell out of here. Because <laughs> I haven't died. Uh oh Get away from me! <laughs> oh my. Race for, race for, for life. I don't think he's still behind me. Shall I look? I'll do it. There we go. I'm still alive. And I'm kicking. That is good. And that is well deserved. I'm not sure why he didn't kill me. But I'm not complaining here. I'm alive, I'm well, I have a weapon. I have everything I need. Now let's take revenge on that orc. Because letting him live would be a different thing. Oh, let's see. One of them actually died here. So sad. Story of a lifetime. Now where is the other orc? I wonder. See here? There's actually a Templar here, which is absolutely not surprising. Hmm. I don't think I want to go there just yet. I want to find the Orc, so no one's going to come from the back and kill me. That would be terrible. Well, wait a second. There are spikes. And one thing you shouldn't do is to run in there blindly. Because that would probably kill you. Now these spikes are going to come up at a kind of a different rate. Uh, 
and you should go over here in the corner then move over here and finally move in here good now there's lots of lava wonderful what would be a perfect location for a temple underground where no one is going you guess right in the lava of course in the volcano underground completely surrounded by lava is a temple building that contains something that no one can go to and all hell breaks loose if the volcano actually dies down and crumbles yeah that's the way things go right now all the time I hate that. Oh, there we go. One already down. And two down. Wonderful. Now, by the way, I'm going to finish this LP before Christmas, no matter what. If there are going to be two episodes a day, that shall be so. But for the moment, I think we will do fine with one per day. If the need should arise, you will see that surely on my channel. So, if the next two videos, or rather the next few videos, take a little bit longer, that is because I'm going to do this before Christmas, before I'm going on a vacation for two weeks. I have something special planned nonetheless for the time between Christmas and New Year's. You will see what that is pretty soon. But for now, I want to kill demons! Come here, fatty. Alright. Hero's Blade. It's probably not that heroic. Oh, 83 is not too bad. Now, switch number two. Pull. Hmm. Nothing happened just yet. Again. Is there a third switch? Oh yeah, there's another room over there. Very well. Let's head over there. And don't look down. Because the lava looks... kinda hot. Oh, by the way, there's a spot where you can climb up. Well, if you possibly fall down, that you can climb back up, of course. I mean all of the time when I jump down into lava in real life I survive all the time. Oh, level up. I like that. Only one demon. How cheap is that? He's he's probably the one he's probably the one who was left behind by any of the other demons because he had some strange disease and no one wanted to do anything with him. Like, no! No! Go away! Hide in the corner! Just leave us alone! We don't want to do anything with you! You, you are sick, dude. You are sick. We don't want to do anything with you. You just, you just go, right? And he's probably like, oh no, please, don't do that. I want to be with all of you. And they just probably set up something like a, a secret meeting. And they to tell him that, whoa, there's a secret meeting. We're all going to meet and it's going to be fine. And then he's the only one there, and they are enjoying something totally different. And they think, well, we we kind of did a very well executed plan there. We left him to do to go somewhere totally different, and we are the best and smartest. And this is great. That's probably what happened. And I mean. That's teamwork, right? That's friendship. True friendship is to have s someone enjoy something completely alone while the others do something completely different. That is true friendship. Now, let's ho head over the bridge that we just released over this side. I just want to remind you there are spikes on this side. Now, I believe there is a way to get over this by jumping. Now, I'm going to try this once. If not, I'm going to do it differently. Oh, 
Or maybe it's not working. Good, because there's a second way into this temple here. It's not the obvious one, which leads directly through a crack in the wall. Oh wait, it's the obvious one that leads directly through a crack of the wall. And there's a blade that obviously seems to be very important because it's zoomed upon. Jump in! And fight Shaman number four. Your long will be over. Your it definitely will be, because you will be over. the next victim. Now I don't really think that's such a good idea. No, I don't actually think so either, because Because I don't like to burn. Seriously. We pick up a strange sword. Well, how far is this strange sword up there? Oh, there it is. No, no, no it's not. Is it actually under Miss Glendalus? Oh, there it is. A wonderfully made sword. Ancient runes have been engraved into the blade. Maybe Zardas can decipher those runes. I'd better not use it before he has identified it. A good roleplay game, or a, a strange roleplay game, would actually let you use the sword right now and die horribly by something because it's cursed or something like that. Gothic doesn't do that though because they think the player is smart and it doesn't do it. Now let's see if we can get out of here again. We can, no wonder. Now we picked up that sword. And let me tell you, you will need that sword. And you want to go here first before you do anything else in the game right now. Because you will need that sword and only that sword for a specific thing that will come up very soon. For now, however, we are going to continue the other way that I didn't want to go first and see what's up there. Now we're going to wait for these spikes to come up. Gonna head over. I'm gonna move over here first, just to be sure that I can make the distance. Which I couldn't exact- oh, there's actually a dude. Oh, that's the orc I was- who didn't kill me. Oh, I'm so sad you're dead now. Oh well. Two more orcs, actually. And there he goes. If I'm not talking too much while fighting, it's because I'm trying to concentrate not to die. Because the, the orcs hit really hard. Now I want to get over there to the other side because there is a chest. I just barely noticed out of the side of the eyes. Healing! Oh yes! Please give! Yes! That is so good! First off, let's drink the potion that have been given to me. A three strength potion, always handy. But then, oh my god, this ring is so good. A strength bonus of five? Pfft, I'll take a ring that protects me from magic, fire, arrows, and weapons by three, five, and ten. Yes, thank you. Gladly taking that. Oh, god, I fell down. Alright, need to find the mine crawlers then, because I'm not going to climb up there again. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> Just die, please. Right, let's follow this way around here. Huh? Maybe it will lead us to a different location. Or maybe we'll just end in a dead end. <laughs> we'll see about that in a minute. No, actually it won't. It won't lead me to a dead end. It will lead me to here. And here is the other way that I wanted to go anyway. Is fine. Now, I'm 
not sure if I want to go there actually, but I think I want to. So let's use this. Okay, let's use it from the other side then. And see what happens. Oh look! It's some kind of ancient elevator that actually works still. And that's probably an ancient post delivery device of some sort. Right. I've no idea what awaits me down here actually. I'm barely knowing what's gonna happen here. There's a switch I can see that much. Oh, it seems I've opened the door. Or will open the door for that matter. Oh yeah, there it is. Doors opening. Wonderful. There are two Templars and two Orcs. How lovely. Is there anything in the middle, perhaps? Oh, there's a switch on the other side there. Which I'm going to pull anyway. Maybe I will die. So, just to be sure. Hitting up a save here. And it does. Oh, spawn demons! Oh well. I didn't want to do that. It's it's free XP, so I'm not too worried about that too much. But you can notice we're getting closer and closer to a very good defended location. And that normally means quite a bit in a game like this kind. The harder the enemies the closer you get to the boss. Oh, Minecrawler spawned as well. Ah, come on. Kill the first one. And the second one. And with second one, I'm actually mean the third one. Now let's get out of here quickly. Because anything before anything else will spawn. And yes, you guessed right by the way now. This thing pulls down the elevator. Which we will then climb and wait. Because it should move up pretty soon. Up, up, and the way. Now, I want to jump over here. Not too far, because that would kill me. That's not what we want. Oh, actually, it wouldn't, because there is a lot of space down there. Actually, I think I've jumped into the wrong direction. Of course I did. I want to jump the other way, because that's where the evil guys are. Uh, I think I need to go this way, however. Whoa! Someone did release a lot of pressure there. That's the only place where jumping like this is actually not good. <laughs> because you want to get up there. Oh. How am I... Am I supposed to jump over there? No, I'm not. Okay, well, I try to get back up. There should be a way up. That's probably here. Come on. Stand... Hero! Okay. We obviously can't climb... Whoa. Well, it seems lava is not really our killer anyway. Because we kind of survived and did not die horribly. In pain and agony. Hmm. 
This is strange. Well, there's actually no... Oh, yeah, we can. There's actually no way over there, duh. Until he figures out there's actually another way over there. There we go. I should have seen that. Right, let's try one last time to get over there. And if we cannot, I will do this the next video. Because it seems my jump and run techniques are quite off at the moment. Back a little bit. Jump. Jump. Save. I'm not sure if we can do this, actually. Huh. Nope, this is not going to... What the... What in the name am I... I'm a little bit confused right now. Because I think I'm doing this completely wrong. I believe so. Possibly I need to get to the other location. Whoa. To the other path and go actually this way. But that will be for next video because we have a lot of time spent already today and we shall spend more time in here tomorrow. So, when we come back folks, finding a way to get over there. Unluckily, we cannot go back the way there. So, we'll see us next time.